Go now and save the multiverse. Aha! Welcome Hello. to my graveyard. That's my grave. Thank you. But sorry, I uh, I it was it was really comfortable down there. It is, isn't it? I just I sleep there every time. It, of course, naturally. <laughs> well, welcome <laughs> to my graveyard. Uh, for those, it's a that... lovely place you have here. Thank you. Very morbid. <laughs> yes, it's great. Uh, it's the resting it's place of Maya, unfortunately, but. Welcome to Chrono Breach, uh, SMP series. Uh, I am joined by Echo today. Echo is joined by me as well. Hi, yeah. welcome to the chaos. What could go wrong? <laughs> yes, and I got a sign and a note from the Fellowship of the Golem. Uh, so a little backstory off camera. Uh, hello, Sebastian. I... Yes, hello, Sebastian. Sebastian's finally named. Off camera... I wrote my name in the recruitment book for the Brotherhood of the Golem, now rebranded the Fellowship of the Golem. I um, I wrote it as a joke because I knew T-Rav was, for some reason, really untrusting of me. But I haven't read this book yet. Echo has, though. So, here we go. Thank you. <laughs> oh, no. I've been accepted. Welcome. Thank you for joining our community, Dr. Tron. If wasn't enough. Yeah, I know. As a token of our appreciation, we have granted you a golem. But in return, you will assist the fellowship in any community builds, i.e. shops, monuments, strongholds, etc. Oh, do I have to build the wall? Why is it in blue? Okay, never mind. Okay. We are terribly sorry it took so long, but I haven't yet started the pumpkin farm. To make golems. Oh yeah, that's the one that the issue is. We, <laughs> we also noticed that you just partnered up with X Corp. So as a result, we will not be taxing you on our shops. But once when you do decide to end the partnership, the fellowship will collect 10% of profits from your shop. Okay, 10% of like, okay. Better than 50, which is my deal with X Corp. Yeah. You may have noticed that that we, over at the Fellowship of the Golem, decided to change our name. The reason behind the Brotherhood, or the reason behind that is the Brotherhood didn't sound inclusive enough after all. We would like everyone to join our, co I mean, our little community. If agreed to, I'll, I'll number these. One, helping the Fellowship of the Golem to a 10% tax on your shops, then sign your name here. I'm going to read all the text. Again, thank you for joining the Fellowship of the Golem. If you would like to negotiate about anything in this contract, thank you, then you know how to contact me, Zombify t -Rap. Last page. P.S. Do you know where the Golem... <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> Do you know a golem named Eduardo? PPS. Also, I forgot to mention, you now get half off any shop. Oh, sorry. You now get half off at every shops sponsored by the fellowship. And if you and if something costs one diamond, you get to double that product. Okay, that makes sense. I'm a little suspicious because T-Rav already said on camera that they don't trust me. So Who wouldn't? I don't know. So maybe you're right. But I'm already a part of X Corp. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. But This is quite fascinating a uh, prediction to be in. Yeah, it's a very interesting predicament. So you guys might actually be wondering what we are now doing here. Um... We need gunpowder. And, like, a lot of it. An ungodly amount of gunpowder. So, we're gonna try to build a witch farm. Uh, I don't actually know who made the design for it, so... Draw Cor Corteseroni? Corteseroni. That's who it is. Corteseroni. They built this farm, um, and it's actually really, really cheap and effective, 
So uh, we're going to be building this in one night, which is crazy. No world border needed. No, none of that. So shall what we begin? Go wrong? Um, uh, sure. Okay. It's gonna be a, a an easy farm to build. Here, are you good there, buddy? <laughs> You're just kind of stuck <laughs> in that wall. <laughs> but <laughs> the idea with this farm is that oh, bye. So Indeed. there is all the way up there a glass uh, a glass AFK, AFK platform. platform. It's a uh, 120 blocks up, and the uh, the witches will spawn and die from suffocation. Well, die from suffocation. But hopefully... Uh, entity cramming. Entity cramming, Ooh. yes. Hopefully, this farm will make a lot of gunpowder so we can start using that for potions and mm. mainly on the server rockets because, to be honest, we need <laughs> lots of rockets. So, this is going to be... Uh, I'm going to AFK overnight so that I can set up the item sorters. And um, I guess, do I need to pay you? You helped make this. Well, you don't need to. I did use your resources. So, well. No, I refuse. Okay. I'm not taking okay. it for more reasons than one. Also, you are an associate of X Corp. So you can use this farm mm -hmm. whenever you need. We could just have it running 24-7. Every X-Corp member takes a day of the week, and <laughs> we'll be fine. I have school that needs a computer. Wow. I like what hit your foot and it ended up in your head. <laughs> did it actually? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Nice. Well, that farm up there turned out really, really well. Um... I can't wait to AFK over there. I actually already did. Never mind. Uh, I've, I've AFK'd there already and we got some loot. But I came up with the perfect idea for my base. Now I'm talking like uh, all of a sudden it came to my head and I'm like, yes, this makes sense. My skin is perfect for this. And I know we already did a time lapse in this video, but the second one's going to be great because duh, I am so excited for this build. Like, so much more excited than my original plans so we're gonna switch gears and move over to that but uh i gotta move this golem <laughs> uh so now that we have a golem we are we are now a part of the brotherhood or the the fellowship of the golem and i think i'm actually gonna i think i'm gonna join to keep an eye on him maybe i don't know we'll see but without further ado let's get into this time lapse of me building my uh my base
Okay, so we are up here. I'm gonna do the grand reveal from the sky on what this mushroom looks like because I haven't told you it's a mushroom yet. It's a mushroom. And there it is. I added a lot more details off camera, not on the stream. A lot more details. Echo helped me with that a lot. So thank you, Echo, especially for the hours it took to get rid of all of these chests here and put them up there because that's why this mushroom in particular is pretty fat. It's because it's supposed to be for the storage system. Hello? Okay, then. Interesting. Well, <laughs> uh, all of the wooden features kind of have faces of animals. So if, you, ooh, ooh. so if we look, it's got like a duck bill here. There's another duck bill there. Over here, I'd say this looks like the face of a frog. You see it? It's... It's crazy. We did not mean to do this. I didn't mean to make these faces look the way that they did. They do, though. This one in particular is a little weird, but it's still a face. <laughs> uh, but this is a theme we're going to go with. We're going to go with this magical type theme with mushrooms and giant trees and all that stuff, like this magical swamp. That's what we're going to go with because I think it fits my skin pretty well. So if we take everything but my boots off because my inventory is full of sand, <laughs> uh, it kind of looks like I'd be that crazy witch in the swamp that's uh, that's uh, growing a whole bunch of mushrooms and giant magical plants. I don't know. I don't know why I get that vibe from my skin, but it's it's the vibe that I get. But if we take a look on the inside... We have not done the interior yet. I was thinking about doing a spiral staircase going up so we can hit all the windowsills. I don't know if that's going to happen or not because of the way that this one is and how close it is to there. But we'll see. For now, I've just been using the, the scaffolding to get all the way up. And this is where the bulk of the storage is. We've got a bunch of room in here. For a lot more storage, even another section of chests like this over here. But this holds basically all of my items. They're all organized. Again, thank you so, so much, Echo, for helping with this. So where's my sandbox? Uh, oh no. It's full. Well, we're going to have to figure that one out. <laughs> but we've got a whole bunch of stuff. Scaffolding, building, packed ice, all the different things to be sorted. My valuables, which is just a little gold dungeon loot. All of that stuff. And I am super, super happy with the way that this turned out. And, uh, yeah, this build is really good for uh, both function and uh, the way that it looks. Oh, by the way, this this is amazing. There are barrels in the, in the floor. I bet you didn't even notice. This is the bottom half, or the... Yeah, the bottom half of the barrel. It looks so good. Uh, and it, it kind of texturizes the floor a bit. But, uh, yeah, the, the way this building turned out, I'm really happy with. We did have to make some sacrifices up top. I wanted to add more texture by making this part here and about to there. All the way around, go up one more block to give it more texture. But unfortunately, I couldn't do that because it would sacrifice storage space, which was the point of the build in the first place. But uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna jump up here so we can have a good look. I don't understand these phantoms. I just just loaded them, but uh, we can get on top of this. And yeah, this is really really cool. I like the way that this is looking. I think I'm gonna make this more into a, a fancy looking farm as well but these this this is by far one of the favorite builds that i've done if i continue this and make a whole bunch of these i'm gonna be so so happy with the way that this looks all the different aspects of of my base the stuff that i've want has kind of come together oh and i had this idea for the iron golems that i'll be having since you know i'm a part of the fellowship of the golem they get stuck in water really easily and that's kind of okay because they've got moss and stuff growing on them. They they look like they're supposed to be a part of the swamp. 
And that's really, really cool feature. They go really well. Their color with the, uh, the mushroom stem blocks that we have right here. So I'm thinking this is a really, really, really good part of the build. Maybe we put him inside now. But we've got a lot done today. We finished the storage system and we also did a, uh, a witch farm. So it might not be the most efficient witch farm. You can see it over there still. But it's a pretty good witch farm nonetheless. It'll get the resources that we need to start up a potion brewing thing. But I'm going to call it for here because that's a lot of stuff. It's a lot of progress. Next episode we're going to be making a mushroom shop of sorts. So that's going to be really, really cool. I hope you stick around to, to watch that. Until then, I will see you in the next episode. Bye, Sebastian.